Hey guys, it's Stu here with another Sims 4 video about mods, I guess. Um, so this is my Sim family. This is Faye. Uh, used to be married to Cletus Harris. Is now married to my Sim Cleta, Cleta? Cletus Courouge. So um, yeah, that's beside the point. Anyway, I was watching a video recently. Um, quite an old video. It's actually a long series of videos by uh, Dr. Gluon. And he's playing the 100 Babies in 100 Years Challenge. And uh, every time his sim has a baby with another partner, uh, he turns the partner into a skeleton using the sim ray. So I just wanted to have a crack with this and uh, see what it is. I think this is the mod here, the Developer Debug Access Panel. I think. It took me a while to find that, just searching online for uh, skeleton, sim ray, etc, etc. So I have no idea how this works, but it could be a lot of fun to find out. So I think probably the first thing we need is a sim ray. Hopefully we're not going to have to um, do anything ridiculous here, like become a scientist and do the scientist career, because I really don't want to do that. So let's have a look and see what we can find. Please let there be a sim ray. Please let there be a sim ray. I probably should search for ray instead of sim. Let's search for Ray. Uh, okay, commemorative. No, that's not right. So, do we need to turn on? Uh, oh, it's going to be locked, isn't it? Surely it's going to be locked. Now, don't want custom content. It's not custom content. It is just the Sim Ray. Hmm. That's gone poorly. Uh, where do I get the Simray from? Simray in knowledge. That's promising. Hopefully, I just need a normal Simray. Uh, so I don't think there was any kind of extra stuff. So let's just uh, pop one of those down. And we will get... I guess we'll get Faye to grab it. And see what happens. Let's uh, pick this up. Oh, let's try and upgrade it first. Can we upgrade this? Oh no, we can't upgrade it. God damn thing. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Um, I'll pick it up anyway. There's probably more to it than this. I'm going to have to figure it out. I've got no clue what I'm doing at all, to be fair. So you've probably guessed that. So, all right, she's going to put that in her inventory. And then I guess we go and find some Sims to uh, interact with. Uh, not here. Let's go to, I don't know, a bar? Bar sounds good. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to spend some time trying to figure Oh, there we go. So I just got new map replacements as well. This is uh, Newcrest with the updated maps by 20th Century Plumbob. I love these updated maps. Basically what they've done is they've gone into the game, um, got rid of all the, the lots. So all of the lots that are for people to build on. Uh, they've deleted them, zoomed out. Uh, taken photos and scaled it to match exactly the layout of the original maps. Um, I say exactly, I'm not entirely sure. Some of these ones look a little bit crooked. Uh, they're pretty damn close, but gee, that looks so much better. Yeah, go and have a look at that quickly. I mean, it's just a sidetrack, but just have a look. For example, Willow Creek. Um, the default map for Willow Creek just looks nasty. This one, obviously, been updated. Obviously, the buildings themselves, they get generated by the game. So whatever you've built on a lot or come with the game or downloaded from the gallery, whatever it is, they get generated by the game itself and they look nice. Everything else is from this map update. Uh, replacement map. So 20th century plum bob. Love it. Now, we're up to, let's go to Oasis Springs. It's another one that's been updated. They haven't all been done. There's still a couple that are missing. But for the majority, they've all been updated and they look fantastic. So it just makes the game a little bit more immersive. A little bit more enjoyable to play. So, uh, all right, let's go to a park. I'm guessing this ray wouldn't work on kids. I don't want to do that anyway, um, but surely there'll be some adults there somewhere. I always Springs is a good bet because it's probably not going to be raining. Could be wrong. Uh, it's rained there before and it probably will rain there again at the worst possible time. Hopefully it's not raining today. It's not raining today, but where is everybody? Oh, uh, there's somebody. Doesn't matter who it is. I don't care. Do we have to know the person? Freeze ray. Okay. And we can only freeze. Hmm. 
from what I saw in the video, there was just an option here to turn into skeleton. Uh, was there? Free build. Ooh, let's have a look. Dev access settings. Uh, all locked. Great. Right, I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, Dr. Quill and Glooby's feature edition. Well, sure, but it's locked. Why is it locked? Why is it locked? I don't know. I don't know. Why is it locked? Free build, lock needs, show settings. Okay, let's just give me a list of all the stuff. Yeah, Gloovy feature unlock disabled. What do I need to do? This is really annoying. Sim type is currently active. Great, that's new. Uh, more choices. Non settings and config. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see then. Do we have special features? Yeah, what's that? They were made for somebody important. <laughs> Turn into skeleton. That's what I want. All right, cool. So we've just enabled that and it's come up with a lovely orange message, which is usually an error, but no. Let's see if I do actually need a restart. It's telling me I do, which is a pain in the backside. So hopefully it's not. Oh, it looks like mind control turn into a skeleton all right we like that let's do it let's do it what could possibly go wrong all right that's cool if this works that's fantastic <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and oh Eva and... Z. <laughs> oh okay it's just turned into a skeleton cool all right so when i saw um Oh, she just got hit by a car. Fantastic. I love the way cars work in the Sims. Yeah, when I saw this on the um, Dr. Glue on video series, um, it actually froze the Sim before turning them into a skeleton. So I don't know if... Free, freeze into skeleton. That's what we want. I want to turn into a pie. <laughs> yeah, okay, I've seen that. Well, all right, let's freeze this person into a skeleton just because. Why not? Sounds like fun. And then we'll turn someone into a pie because why not? Why not? And you're frozen. <laughs> and them? when you crack them out, they should be a skeleton. There you go, they've turned into a skeleton now. So uh, can we oh, can we hack them open? Crack open. There we go. Crack them open, and we should have a beautiful skeleton uh, underneath. Um, skeletons appear in all different oh. colours. Um, ah, pretty much any skeleton you can find in Jungle Adventure. Uh, that's what happens. And they keep some of their accessories, which I think is fantastic. So this one with the watch and the ring and the glasses. Uh, the other one I think we saw before had a lovely police hat on. And it was a lot of fun. All right, Judith Ward, I'm going to turn you into a pie. Unfortunately, when we turn Judith into a pie, uh, that means that she's going to be uh, permanently a pie. Uh, where is it? Why can't we... Don't run away. Oh, where did it go? More choices. Turn to a pie. All right, does it give us an option to turn it into a particular uh -huh. flavour of pie? <coughs> I don't know, but I do know that uh, the pie can be eaten. And uh, look, basically what it's doing is deleting Judith from the game and replacing it with a pie. It's, you know, it is what it is. Um, very, very silly. Um, oh, she doesn't look well. She's not happy. She's not happy, and she's dead. Oh no! Oh, she's dead. And uh, she's not a pie, though. I, I, I've only seen this a couple of times. Um, she doesn't look like a pie. Do we need to wait until Grim turns up? Uh, where's Fagon? Oh, there's Grim. Okay. Right, we'll just build a sand sculpture while we wait. I think Grim has to do his business. Oh, stop it. You didn't know her. Come on. And Grim is... Where did she go? 
Oh, she's all right. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Come on, Dream, get on with it. Oh. Buck just rides straight through the sea. That's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, Buck rides just goes straight between Judith and Death. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody cares. Yeah, Faye's happily building a sand sculpture in the background. And all these people are having a big cry. And uh, they want to be quiet, otherwise they might become pies as well. Let's go. And... There's a pie. Hey. <laughs> Made by Judith Ward. Oh, that's Only fantastic. So we do get the urn as well. That's okay. And there goes another cyclist. Um, fine. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Tasty pie now. That's terrific. Which I can't pick up. Oh, this happens all the time. I hate it when this does this. If anyone can tell me what's causing this, um, things that should be draggable are not draggable. So you basically have to go out, manage worlds. Uh, no, I'm not going to save. I don't want to save. I'll save as at some point. I don't want to save this game because I'm actually... Well, I was trying to play Faye and Cletus uh, <laughs> properly in uh, maybe a Let's Play series. I don't know yet. It is it is what it is. But uh, all right, let's see what happens there. Oh, yep. Okay, fantastic. We were at Oasis Springs. Yep, forgot about that. Oh no, we have to go and... See, this is something that drives me mad in this game. I can't go back to the place I was. I have to go here, to the house, there, and that'll take me to, well, I can choose between Cletus, who's at home, and Faye, who's at the pla uh, the plaque. The Desert Boom plaque. Okay, cool. Yep. That's working really well. So... My game is being really slow at the moment. I've got some more memory and uh, a bigger SSD coming. Should arrive in the next couple of days and we'll hopefully speed this up. Uh, at the moment, it's, it's basically filling 95% of my RAM every single time and doesn't leave a lot for the game to work with. So now, in theory, no, I still can't do that. I have to go through this and put in inventory and put in inventory. I can't. I don't own it. Oh, maybe I don't own the pie. Oh, fine, I'll just eat some pie. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit crap that I don't own it. I don't know who does own the pie. Um, I guess it's a free-for-all for everybody. And you made a cow plant sculpture. That's cool. That's cool. Let's all enjoy some pie. And we'll run over there to uh, enjoy the pie. Where are we going? Oh, it's good that she was hungry. That's that's very handy. Yeah, great. All right, sit down and eat some Judith pie. Yum, 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 yum. All right, so I'm going to leave this one here. That was just... The point of this was just to have a look at this mod. There's obviously a lot more to it that I haven't had a chance to check out yet. Um, I didn't even load the mod up for the first time until I started recording this video. So um, it looks like fun. If you want to get it, you can go to... I'll try and put a link in the description, but uh, where was it? It was by 12th Doctor 1. I think it was 12th Doctor. Uh, yes, it was 12th Doctor 1. Um, so T W E L T. Yep, 12th Doctor 1. All one word, 12th spelled out, not numbers, and the one is a number. I'll put the link in the description. Um, yeah, so go and grab it. It's called Developer Access Panel or Developer Dev Access Panel. Uh, looks like it does a heap of stuff, and uh, some of the customizations were obviously made specifically for Dr. Gluon uh, for some of his videos, which is kind of cool. I like Dr. Gluon, so uh, yeah. All right, fantastic. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, please comment below. Um, and, of course, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I do plan to be making a lot more videos in the, the coming days, weeks, months, whatever. Um, so, yeah, look, if you enjoyed it, absolutely subscribe. Turn on the notification. And, uh, yeah, I guess I will have to uh, go now. All right, bye-bye.